Our goal in doing function decomposition is to find two functions f of x and g of x such that when composed together we get a particular function. In this case square root of x squared plus 3. Now the big thing here is we're basically pulling apart a composition as opposed to putting one together like we usually do in, in other problems. So we're going to identify two functions that when g of x is put into f of x we get the resulting function. So we want to identify an inside and an outside, and based on this notation, g of x is on the inside, and f of x is on the outside. Now, we can always make it very easy by picking one of them to be x and the other to be this function. So let's, let's exclude the basic case. But if we look at this, we could look at the inside function as being x squared plus 3. So, if we let g of x equal x squared plus 3, well then our outside function, f of x, well what's happening to x squared plus 3 as an input? It's just being square rooted, will be square root of x. Now it's a real easy check. To check your answer, you just do the composition, f of g of x, well, I'm putting g of x into f of x, it's square root, because that's my outside function of x squared plus 3. Now, one thing to note about function composition is there's an infinite amount of ways to do this. For instance, I could just let my inside function, g of x, just be x squared, and I could let my outside function be square root, of x plus 3. So that's another possibility because if I put x squared in for x I get the original function. Let's look at another possibility. What if I let g of x be x squared plus let's say 1. Then f of x would be square root of x plus 2. Now if I put this in, because the 1 and 2 add together to give me 3, that also works. If you want to get a little fancy, what if we let g of x equal x to the 4th? Then f of x would be the square root of the square root of x plus 3 because when we put x to the fourth in there and take a square root, we'll get x squared. So there's a whole bunch of possibilities that we can uh, look at when doing function decomposition.